Because of the length of our boats, you don't have to wear a life vest. is always focused. So a significant tilt in the layers of rock as well. That's not the ginger tablets making you uh, lose your mind. That's uh, an example of how much pressure this rock was under after it had formed. Like a big slab has shifted and you are you might get a rock fall on your shoulder and you know break a shoulder blade or something like that the anchor holds and Mendel makes the ledge followed over by Glenn and Les and while Mendel and Glenn wait on the first ledge Les moves out on the second pitch a narrow chimney in the rock leaning slightly away from the vertical Candlestick. 
They've made it. The candlestick's been beaten. Tired and bruised with muscles feeling like jelly. They're finally on top. Squid swimming along ahead of them leaves turbulence behind. And the seals can feel out that turbulence and sort of track their prey down. A bit like a dog waiting for the wind. Hanging out here. There is a colony or two. Quite the leaf. They don't breathe here at Cape Coy. The girls are small. They reach about 50 kilos. The males, the breeding males, can reach 150. We're going to check out some more seals further south from here. So we'll uh, leave this area, we're going to go around them. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it, fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Where I send the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than Let's go a bit further and then abseil the cliff To be able to pendulum swing across Let's have a look at what this is like in the shade or the more damp areas of the coastline.
come through here. There's a couple of uh, seals in the water with as well.
lighthouse keeper, he was in charge of the landing. People died using this structure during maintenance. So three serious affairs here at Tasman Island. and climbed up the forward yeah. way. ship on its quarterly cruise heaves to off Cape Pillar on Tasman Island. These mighty crags tower 1,000 feet above the surging ocean. The ship's boat reaches the flying bridge, the only method by which supplies can be taken ashore on this savage coast, where the rocks are so steep that no landing stage can be built. It may be calm, but danger still exists, and excitement runs high. The cable supporting the flying fox is fixed to a rock lying 20 yards off Tasman. The head keeper, Dennis Smith, controls the landing. It's a tricky job to coordinate a twisting cage and a tossing boat. The dream comes true, and our jubilant party has made it. However, the weather is still uncertain, and getting off may be a problem. Just in case, we carried food for a week. All aboard the Tasman Island tram. Going up, second floor, top of the island.
Below is Anchor Rock, where the 180 foot long flying fox cable is fixed. The trolley system works on a counterbalance principle with one up and one down. The Big Dipper has nothing on this. Many years ago, a cable actually broke, letting a trolley plunge to the bottom. The thought tends to linger. Across Tasman Passage is Cape Pillar, with the highest sea cliffs in Australia. It's a long climb up there.
and joining us this morning. So we really appreciate it. And if you use social media, we've got our tag written here on the console. We love you our step up onto the jetty. So whenever you're ready with the jackets, if you can do that, please. This is the after shot. <laughs> All that hard work we've done rowing that boat around Tasman. <laughs> <laughs>